Hi guys, I welcome you all to EduTap and here is lecture number 11 under the 5 MCQs a day series. See, uh, in this series we are going to cover some important topics under the economic and social issues. Now this ESI is a very important part of RBI grade B, NABAD grade A and SEBI grade A syllabus. So let us just start with your lecture today. Okay, so before proceeding on, let me tell you about the various courses which are being offered by EduTap and the relevance of this particular lecture series. See, first of all, we are offering SEBI Grade A. Now, the notification has just been out. Here, uh, we are offering a full video as well as non-video course for all these examinations. So, in this SEBI Grade A 2018, the Phase 2 has a very important part as ESI. So, ESI is also important in RBI Grade B 2019 and NABAD Grade A has ESI in Phase 1 as well as Phase 2. So uh, these three courses which uh, we are offering and apart from them you can just have a look here. We have uh, several combo courses as well as we are offering an IBPS AFO test series as well as full video course. So just go through them once. And uh, before moving on let me just quickly tell you about our results since we have been working in this field from quite some time now and we have been blessed with some brilliant results. See in RBI Grade B 2017, 27 of our students were selected in the final list. And in NABAD Grade A 2018, the results has just been announced. Here out of 46 generalist seats, 20 were taken by the Edutapians and the RBI Grade B 2018, the result for Phase 2 has just been announced two days back. We have uh, got confirmations from 180 plus students for, tho for those who have, who have been selected in Phase 2. So uh, even more are pouring in. So even here in RBI Grade B 2018, we are expecting a great result. So starting with your lecture, today's topic is Human Capital Index. See this Capital Index has just been released two days back and this is very important as per your examinations. So uh, let us just start and uh, uh, try solving all the questions if you know the answer well, otherwise you are going to learn the answers here. Okay, so our first question from Human Capital Index is, Human Capital Index has been recently released for the first ever time. It measures the amount of human capital that a child born today can expect to attain by the age of 18. So which of the following organizations has released this index? So the question is about the organization which has released this human capital index and this is very important as all the indexes are very important from the point of your examination. So just try and solve. Here are your options. Is it Amnesty International? It is a worldwide famous NGO. Is it World Bank? IMF, UNDP or ADB. Just try and solve it if you know the answer and you hit a score here. And uh, let me tell you the answer to this question is a World Bank. So see World Bank has released its first ever report. Since this is the first ever report on human capital index that is why it becomes important. And a human capital index is basically measuring how well the governments are able uh, to reach to the people for their full potential. So you can say that it is measuring the contribution of health and education which is uh, given by the governments uh, so as to shape up the productivity of the next generation workers like the children who are the children's now. How much health and education are they able to get so that they can become productive workers when they reach the age of 18 plus. So uh, apart from this, what is important for us is this Human Capital Index C. It has been released as a part of World Development Report 2019. And this report has three components. And the project, the, the, the three components are under a single project that is Human Capital Project. So now you know apart from this HCI, this HCP is also important. So the three components of HCP are, first one is uh, this index only, that is a cross-country measurement of the human capital. Then other uh, two and three are the programs on the measurement of the policy and various strategies which are taken by the government. So these are some very important takeaways from this World Bank and Human Capital Index. Just do note, then, uh, note down them. Okay, your second question is, what is India's rank in the first ever human capital index which has been recently released by the World Bank ranking 157 countries? So just try uh, if you know the answer or just give a guess if you think that India is in like, uh, has it got the rank 100, 103, 115, 150 or 90? 
so according to you what is the rank of india out of 157 countries okay so our answer is 115 so you see india's rank is 115 out of the 157 ranked countries so india has been ranked at 115 and the index has been topped by singapore see singapore has some very effective policies which are related to education and healthcare and that is why the rank is one and important thing is singapore is followed by japan and hong kong so top three nations are singapore japan and hong kong and this finland is at the fourth number Another important thing you need to note down is that India's rank 115 is lesser than Bangladesh, Nepal and Sri Lanka. So that means in Southern Asia, India's performance is really bad. It is not going, uh, doing at all good. So these are again some important informations. Moving on to our next question. Okay, question number three is which of the following is not a component of the human capital index as released by World Bank? So see all the indexes uh, which are uh, they, they measure different types of components and they have some broad as well as narrow components on which the index is based. So uh, you need to see which of the following is a component or is not a component of human capital index. So here are your options. Just try and if you know it, you hit a score again. Do note down your score and mention in the comment section below. So your options are survival expected years of quality adjusted schooling since it is based as we have known it is based on health coverage and education so uh, is it survival expected years health environment or life expectancy or you think that all of the above would be the parameters of this hci okay so our answer here is life ex expectancy so that means the above three are the parameters or the components of the human capital index so HCI has following three components. They are given here in detail. First one is survival. So survival is measured by the mortality rates of the under five children. So that means children who are born and if they attain the age of five, what is the mortality rate there? So first is this. Second is expected years of quality adjusted schooling. Now see this quality adjusted means that not only the number of years a person has spent in school, but what is the quality of education which he or she has attained. So the two parameters under this are quality and quantity. See quality is uh, being measured by the test scores from various, uh, various international achievement reports that is uh, there are some standardized programs and how children are performing there. And secondly it is about quantity that is number of years are also important how much number of years a student has spent in schools. So uh, apart from these two survival expected years of quality adjusted schooling third one is health environment. Now see health is itself important but health environment is also important because we see that environment of a person determines health a lot. So uh, these again there are two sub parameters that is adult survival rate and the rate of stunting. So uh, how much an adult is able to survive so it is you can say it is a proxy of the life expectancy which is directly not a parameter here. And secondly is the rate of stunting. So mortality is another uh, different component and Stunting is a component under the health environment. So stunting is basically the ratio of a children's height as compared to his weight. So this is very important because stunting is considered a big problem under the uh, de nations which are not developed yet. So these are some important components and these are very important from the point of view of your examination. Let us just move on to our fourth question. Okay, so what is India's score out of one in the human capital index report, which measures the pro uh, productivity of the future generation? So first of all, we know that productivity is being measured. So this report has given a score out of one total. So here the question is asking the India's score. And here are your options. Just try and solve it. What do you think India's score would be? And if you know, just uh, you get a score even here. So our answer is 0.44. So that means India's score is less than 50% in this human capital index report. See the index uh, have been uh, the index has measured the country's performance on the value of one 
and uh, as expected it was north american and european countries have scored pretty well that is they have got above 0.75 or 0.75 so that is a pretty decent score and the south asian and sub saharan african nations have the lowest score so apart from this singapore has scored 0.88 and india's score is just half of the singapore that is 0.44 so that means india needs to double its efficiency as per health and education if it wants to attain the efficiency as that of singapore so i would tell you just go through this slide once there are some very important information given here and also you need to note down that girls score has been better than boys that means 45% of girls would be able to do better in terms of productivity uh, in according to their as a labor or as a workforce and only 43% of boys so this is again important here okay so we have done our four questions related to human capital index and our final question is human capital index which has recently been released by world bank is being considered as less representative of human capital development so hdi that is human development index is also released for measuring the human development which of the following organizations releases hdi so we know that hci has been released by world bank and now it is being compared to hdi so the question is which of the following organization releases hdi your options are here just try and solve it is it undp world economic forum imf world bank or wto see all these five organizations are important and uh, let me tell you that we have covered this particular world trade organization in a separate video under 5 mcqs a day so i would just recommend you to go back and see that video also and for now try and solve this question about hdi see this hdi is released by undp so this is very important for you see hdi is constructed by undp and the parameters here are life expectancy education and per capita income so we have seen the three parameters of hci and these three are again important of hdi and uh, uh, this hdi let me tell you india's rank the recently released hdi according to it india's rank was 130 so see in hci india has got 115 rank and here 130 so that means india is not doing well be it a representative index or not india's rank is not at all good so uh, the hdi you can read about hci uh, hdi as well as hci here a comparison is being given here because hci is not incorporating the life expectancy and the per capita income indicators and that is why it is being considered as less representative so we'll just go through the solution and the explanation given here it will be uh, of great importance to you guys okay so here are your score tally your marks and do not forget to mention in the comment section below and even if you could not score well that's okay you have learned lot many things about this human capital index okay moving on so that's it guys we have covered your human capital index in detail through this 5 mcqs and in case you guys have any query you can just go and visit our website www.edutab.co.in here is our email id hello@edutab.co.in you can drop us a mail here and our contact number is also mentioned you can whatsapp us or call us as per your convenience so that would be it from this lecture guys i hope that this lecture was useful to you and you have learned Uh, new things from here if you like this video please do not forget to like subscribe and share and uh, this is the link of the telegram channel you can just go there uh, to our telegram channel and download the pdf of this lecture as well as all the other lectures now this pdf will be useful to you for your uh, revision and you can retain all this information which we have learned so that's it guys i wish you all a very happy learning and thank you